Hello and welcome to um, Tuesdays with Mish, a weekly corner or series where I talk about life and how to live life, live the life you love, as well as, you know, it's my opportunity to give you an insight on what I'm up to, what goes on behind the scenes, um, and um, any messages that I'd like to share or actually even to answer your questions. If you have any questions to, for me, please do send it my way. Today, I uh, want to share with you um, this very special book uh, from this very special man that I talked about before, Simon Sinek. Um, he's a very well-known uh, speaker and he has written quite a few books. And this is his latest book, Together is Better. And, you know, Simon talks about how this book is all about, so Together is Better, a little book of inspiration. Um, and it's full of um, little quotes, so I'll show you, little quotes and illustrations of um, just inspirations about what makes a good leader and what's good leadership and how to live life positively um, and get this it's centered with optimism so Simon Sinek actually talks about how when he produced this book when he um, in the in the process of producing this book he um, went to a, a perfume maker and they came up with a custom scent uh, which is an optimism scent and they actually spray it all over the book before sending it out isn't that amazing I find that so cool so Mm, I feel optimistic already. <laughs> right, but what I wanted to share with you was um, a page here. It says, so this is the page. So there's quite a few pages. I've not really read it yet. It's brand new. Oh, hello, Angela. Good morning. Right, so I'm just reading a page from this book called Together is Better by Simon Sinek. I love this book. It's so cute. So anyway, this is um, one of the pages. I'm just taking a, a, a leaf out of the, um, the book. It says, pick one, go alone or go together. It's all fine and good to imagine what life would be like somewhere else. It takes some courage to leave and go somewhere new, to head out to the great unknown. But what happens if upon taking the first step, something goes wrong? Maybe it was a bad idea to leave in the first place. Maybe it's best to turn back and stay put. I think a lot of us face this question, right? Hmm, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done that. After all, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. Hmm. Or maybe if you have the right people with you, they will give you the courage to keep going. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that great? It's so simple. It doesn't matter when we start. It doesn't matter where we start. All that matters is that we start. I just find that so inspiring and I think a lot of us face this challenge or this issue all the time every day in our lives where we think you know we, we kind of want to do something there's this little voice in us that tells us to go and do it but then there's all these questions that come and go oh you know maybe maybe it's not a good idea maybe I shouldn't well you know I don't know but you know it's like you said it doesn't matter when we start and it doesn't matter how we start, where we start, all that matters is that we start. And surround yourself with positive, um, positive, optimistic people who can cheer you on and encourage you to get started and to go along. And it doesn't matter where you end up, it's the journey that matters. So that's my little message for today. And I'm giving away one free book of this book to a lucky listener because I just want to share this with you. So please, all you have to do is like and follow my page and leave a comment. That gives you a bonus point um, to, to um, win the draw. I'm going to do a lucky draw um, for the person who wins this book. So um, yes, so follow my page and leave a comment and I hope you'll win. That's um, just a little bit from me today. I was going to share something else with you guys, just very quickly, something I've been working on. Right, okay, so 
I think this is the little painting that I've been working on. I'm still far from finished, but check this out. It's got a little snowboarding snowman. Yeah, so this is what I've been working on apart from the other stuff. And there's something else. I was also, I've also been working on this. This is a very, very new thing. I'm going with a, kind of like a tropical look with um, plants and banana leaves and stuff. So that's what I've been doing behind the scenes. Apart from that, that's my incredible meatball painting that's close to being finished, I hope. Um, and I'm about to start on a massive painting that's going to be under the sea so that's the blank canvas and hopefully it'll be filled up soon anyway uh that's it from me for today i'll see you again soon thanks for listening bye <laughs>